Hey guys, this is Lior with the Taylor and Lior team. So I'm, today I'm going to tackle another common question I get from buyers, which is, hey, should we go be looking at uh, short sales and foreclosures? So here's the thing. As a buyer, you're always going to have a lot of options, but it's really important to balance risk and reward, right? It sounds kind of basic, but there's a lot to it. So let's tackle first something like foreclosures. Foreclosures, yes, you you know a lot of the candy on when you when you search on Zillow um, or on Realtor.com, you'll see these really attractive prices. But you really gotta understand why they're priced so low. With foreclosures, you're t almost always going into a very distressed situation. So usually the property either needs a lot of work. Um, there could be like tenants that uh, you can't bother but must come with the property. I mean, there we've seen everything under sun with foreclosures, and those are really messy situations. The other thing to know with foreclosures too, probably most important is you cannot go into a foreclosure before putting an offer in, right? So you literally have to buy these things blind. So you don't know if you're going into something that needs a crap ton of work. You don't know if there's a foundation issue, major plumbing issues. I mean, you're literally going into these blinds. So typically the people that go after foreclosures are real, real you know, professional real estate investors who do this on an everyday basis who really know their stuff, who can probably get labor done for a lot cheaper than you can. Um, you know, so I'm not saying it's impossible to go after, after foreclosures, but just really understand that for that price that you're trying to get, there's a lot of risk you take on. Short sales is kind of similar. Um, short sales, you're, again, you're getting into a lot of these distressed situations. Um, you know, usually the seller's behind their payments. Um, usually it means that the property is also kind of distressed. It means it needs more work. The other thing to understand with short sales is, you know, you can put an offer in, but it doesn't mean that it's going to get accepted. Uh, you need, you typically almost always need lender approval on the on the offer. So again, it's a kind of a messier situation. So just because the price tag on the website looks really attractive, it doesn't mean that you know the transaction only is going to get messier, only going to get more complex, and really is going to get riskier for you. So again, not trying to derail you. If, I mean, if you are set on getting a short sale, you know, I've helped people buy those. Um, just really want you to understand what risk you're taking to try and get that reward. So hopefully that makes sense. Give me a call, text, email. We'll help you strategize a strategy um, and figure out what's the right move for you.